right, you know, the first six flights I crashed because I couldn't even get it off the ground. It's because I was throwing it. If you watch on the video, they kind of do this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it would just, it would just roll over and nose dive. Right, because you have to get to your controls yeah, fast. Yeah, so I, I tend to hold it like back a, here. Oh, like a frisbee. Hey, welcome to Mesa RC Foam Fires. It's me, Mr. Marshall. Um, as we get into the summer, the videos will start to dwindle down because we're, you know, we don't have students producing stuff on a weekly basis. Um, but we do have some kids coming in during the uh, uh, Mesa camps and, um, and and building stuff. And Jack wanted to build the Versa wing here. Um, and uh, you saw it on video when Flight Test first came out with it, and we really liked it, but then we just kind of forgot about it, and we didn't really go back to it. Yeah. Um, and then Mr. T came out with his Versa wings. He had two Versa wings. Um, Mr. T, our volunteer. And his son also had one. Yeah, his son also had one. His son's only like, what, 10? Yeah, something like that. And he flies amazing. He's like really good. Um, and so he came in and showed us out, and, and then Jack went ahead and did it all. And go ahead and tell us from building it to finishing up. Okay, so I got it laser cut, and it was pretty easy to build, I have to say. Um, actually, the two wing halves that are part of the original Versa wing were laser cut, but the bluntness conversion wasn't, so I had to cut that out. It wasn't too hard, but I was just not used to it using the laser cutter all the time. Um, it was very easy to construct, you know, you just put in the spar, you glue everything down, um, nothing else really needs, I mean, you need a firewall, oh, you so I got a FT firewall printed out from Thingiverse on the 3D printers, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, Jack, Jack's gotten to the point, where a couple of our kids have got to the point now where they they're kind of live here, <laughs> and so when they live here and, and they figure out how to do everything, you just you came to me and said, we don't have a verse, our verse swing on file. No. I said, no, go ahead and do it. And he goes ahead and, go ahead and converts it over to Corel that we use for um, laser cutting. And then we ask, do we have motor mouse for this? No. So he goes and finds it and prints it out using our, our 3D printers. So, I mean, Jack's really utilizing our room, and, and um, obviously it's showing in his builds. I mean, he's, he's got a plethora of builds over here that you know, we'll probably go through a couple times sharing. But um, he did a good job on this Versa wing. We're almost done, and we'll be able to get it to fly. But in the meantime... Um, watch, check out this next clip of Mr. T um, flying his Versa wing that inspires some of the kids to start building him. Thanks for watching. All right, we're out here in the park with um, Mr. T. He brought some of his uh, blunt nose FT Versa wings uh, to show off with the kids. And he's got this one he kind of trained on and and, uh, and got used to the controls with and the build. So he's got a little 3D printed uh, motor mount stuff. <laughs> And then he's moving on to, he really wants to start flying FPV with the Versa wing. So here's the Versa wing all completed. So he's got his fast shark stuff in there. And everything's all. This is, this is clean. This is the Dollar Tree foam? Yeah, I love this stuff. This is super. This is super. It's just taped on. I was doing a. This is super light. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Okay. Earlier, right, you know, the first six flights, I crashed because I couldn't even get it off the ground. It's because I was throwing it. If you watch on the video, they kind of do this. Yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. And it would just, it would just roll over and nose dive. Right, because you have to get to your controls yeah, fast. Yeah. So I, I tend to hold it like a, back here. Oh, like a frisbee. Okay. Oh, okay. about these guys you can just uh you can roll them and do these really tight turns yeah with them and then you can slow it 
brought it way down if you want to. It still glides through the air pretty good. Yeah. I mean, that's a little less than half. With the 3,000 amp, too, I mean, or 3,000 milliamp battery. This is full speed. I might have too small of a prop on it, too. I have a, I think it's a seven inch or eight inch prop. But yeah. So you have both sides black? Yeah, that's, we, we've learned that on the edge, it's kind of hard to see. Right. Oh, nice. Really easy. Did you have to have um, a 3,000 milliamp battery to balance out the CG, or can you use the 2200? So, um, I actually have two pretty large bolts in the front of this airplane. So, yeah. even the 3,000 wasn't heavy enough with this blunt nose. Yeah. So, uh, you said um, the 3,000 wasn't heavy enough? No. Oh, wow. And it's as far forward as it'll go. That's why I'm putting the GoPro on the other one, because it's that's why it was hanging off the front. Mm, okay. I did some center of gravity tests this morning and realized I can actually put the GoPro in the airplane, in the nose, instead of having it hang out in the front because I didn't want it sticking out. Yeah. But um, but it has enough weight to counterbalance. But I'll show you when I land where the center of gravity is on these guys. But. Okay. But it flies. That's pretty fast. Yeah, and I'm a three quarter. Yeah, three quarter throttle right now. I, you can fly full bore, which is when I have more room, I will. But here, I'm kind of keeping it. Yeah. In the park. But you'll notice with the wing, you know, the wind does affect it a little bit. And, yeah, it makes uh, it jumpy. Yeah, and when you come out of a turn, sometimes it, uh, especially when you do a roll, it, it flaps a little bit. Yeah. But the whole, you know, the whole idea of it, um, like that. The whole idea of it, the camera not being in any, or you're not messing the view up with the camera flying, you know, it's yeah. kind of nice. But yeah, I so feel like right there, I just, like, couldn't tell was it going away from me, coming toward me, just because it was just right on there. And you have all your, you have all your fast track gear? Yeah, not with me right now, but I do have it at home. So we can maybe do an episode of, of you flying? Yep, I'm hoping next next time I come over, it, that, that other white one will be done. Okay, and then we'll so. try to get one done too, and we'll fly with you. <laughs> we'll try. Yeah, so I've actually, some. this is actually my son's airplane. And, yeah. And radio. Um, and so we'll, we're starting to learn how to fly together, you know, chase each other. And, yeah. You know, he, he, I'll say, you know, just do left, kind of like what I'm doing. I'm just kind of doing pattern left. Yeah. And stuff like that. And I can kind of stay on them pretty good because that's what I want to do is get some good footage from the air. Right. Um, I don't know about you, but I, I tend to not like to fly to the right. It's kind of weird. I, I keep having to practice to go the other direction. I, I like going to the right. Do you really? Yeah. Yeah. So, so does my son. I can't go to the left. I mean, I can go to <laughs> I can go to the left fine. I can fly, but it has to be pretty minimal. And just, yeah, I can't fly. I have to fly like that. Yeah. See that last one right there. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm not. Real airplane up in here. I'm just trying to find better places to fly where there's more room. About how long do you think you can fly with that? 40 minutes. minutes. Forever. Yep. With a 3,000? Well, and, and the wing, it just, I mean, it'll it'll glide. It depends forever. on how, yeah, it depends on how he's flying it too. If he's yeah. gunning it and doing tricks and stuff, he. I have it set for, I think, 20 minutes. It's a long time. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what was so funny is I didn't know how long I had on it, and I put my battery alarm on the airplane. Yeah. And I went down to the park just to, you know, 10 minutes goes by, 15 minutes goes by. I'm like, I don't hear the alarm. Did I hook it up right? You know, 20 minutes goes by, I land it, and uh, no alarms going off or anything like that. And yeah. So I kept flying. It flew for 40 minutes. I mean, I was bored by <laughs> the time I was. But for FPV, it's fantastic. Right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But can... see, like, I'm nervous. I don't know how far away I can fly. It's like, how do you do range checks and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, that's... So this is... Go out on the farm, big old farmland where there's nothing around and just go until it starts to yeah. fuzz out. So this is half throttle right now. 
And that's what I like about this airplane is it's you can learn on it. I mean, it's it's yank and bank, right? It's it's gonna stay in the direction. Um, if I, you know. Yeah. It's gonna stay that way. It's not gonna want to kind of self-level like some of the other airplanes do. But you um, get a stabilizer on there, though. I bet you it'd yeah. be really nice. You get a little three-axis stabilizer. Yep. They were like twenty bucks on at Hobby King. What some of the guys were saying on the forum. Yep. Well, I even have a KK board, another one. Besides, have that. you tried using a KK board on a? I haven't tried. No, I've seen people do it, and I've seen people do the stabilizer receiver too. Right. Because I bet you that makes that thing super, super smooth. Yeah. Huh? Make one, let's Jack. I, I want to. Let's make one. Nice job. Very cool.